So hello guys, uh, uh, today's episode uh, tuko pahali na nyuki and uh, yeah somewhere to a river bank by and restaurant and yes we we have some amazing content for you today and uh, join me today in this interview uh, as we talk na the owner wa river bank bar and restaurant welcome come and uh, I, i would request her to introduce herself uh, atwambia anaitwa nani mm. uh, k- kindly my name is Esther Njoki Kagoda mm-hmm. i'm a resident of Raikipia since uh, 1997 and uh, through the years i've always wished to do hospitality and that's why um, we are here to, today this afternoon okay so um Sinjoki was asking uh, how did you found this hotel the uh, plaste bar so how was it founded well i uh, to start with as i said earlier on i love hospitality mm-hmm. and uh been in hospitality for over the last about five years before I decided to build my own thing I was on lento rat and uh, we started by trying doing small t- uh, takeaways to the offices and with the time we decided it enough was enough we could now do in large scale and have a place where people can come and enjoy whatever meal they request for okay. and uh, before having river bank i was in narumoro narumoro is a small town but uh, it is very busy and uh, at that time when i was running the narumoro cave it was a cave i used to have people from the banks we had kcb next to me there was the equity bank KWFT and Taifa Sako. I was able to source meals for them 10 o'clock tea, lunch and the 4 o'clock tea. Mm-hmm. And after my tenor added having serving giving them the services, I decided to relocate to Nyanyuki. And that's why a day like today I'm gr- I'm excited because I know the Lord always b- brings what you have prayed for to be and uh river bank has been one place that has a lot of warmth it makes me feel good when i see a guest come in and live very happy it's also a place that have had different kinds of persons including the youth that i normally employ they are able to earn their living out of this place and they also get forest in areas maybe they could have been another different hotel that does not have the setup of river bank okay. and when they come here we are able to teach them how to cook what we are able to do best mm-hmm. and uh, we are able to also they are also able to polish us because each one of us needs to embrace one another okay. in whatever way you are mm-hmm. is important that uh, we get notes and we exchange them okay. to make the place better than they f- they have found it otherwise i'm grateful for this home mm-hmm. it's i call it home away from home because when people come they just feel they are, they have it all yeah true 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 otherwise i pray that as time goes on mm-hmm. work is going to resume mm-hmm. uh, having the covid t- season when we were told to close down the bar and restaurants mm-hmm and i did reopen last year after the crosha so business is f- coming back slowly slowly mm. but uh, we pray that great times are ahead of us yeah true yeah thank you yeah, so uh, probably somebody somewhere uh, wants to start such such a business uh, so uh, what would you advise him uh, mm. on regards na licenses and yeah, the capital to start Okay. Mm-hmm. What I would say and I would encourage those who are out there. Mm-hmm. It's good not to live in fear. Walk to the bank. Mm-hmm. Let them see your bank statements. Mm-hmm. At times it may look little, but the little will make it happen. Yeah, true. Not that I had the much money kept aside 
to start it. Mm -hmm. But uh, the literal I had and one of the assets I decided to sell and it enabled me to be able to start the project. Mm -hmm. And uh, with time, I'm still trying to pay the loan, which has not been uh, easy because of the COVID season when we were forced to close down mm -hmm. and some of us were put under the CRB. Mm -hmm. But uh, once again, I just want to say it's never impossible. Mm -hmm. We don't lean on the wall of saying you cannot make it because when you you don't believe in yourself you won't make it yeah. but if you go for it you'll get it so for me i decided to approach equity bank and also family bank there are some of the banks that stood by me and were able to facilitate me with the loans to be able to do the completion of this good work that you see mm -hmm. otherwise i would say for those who are willing to start, if we start small, mm -hmm. gradually we grow. Yeah, true. And uh, for the loans, I've been able to accomplish uh, some of the loans, the equity loan with the family bank. I'm still servicing and trusting God. If times are good ahead, we shall be able to come out of it. Mm -hmm. And I thank family bank because it's one of the banks that has not pushed me. They were able to understand the COVID season. We maybe have been low, but they never came to our necks. They were able to understand the hard times we had. And since it was an order that we do close, we had to abide by that. So for now, uh, we, are, we want to trust that uh, given some little more time, businesses are going to flourish. Not only Riverbank, you know, other business sectors, everyone is complaining. The economic times are very hard for each one of us. And uh, looking at it, you can find there are several cubicles we have. We have the main restaurant up there. These were places that people could fill to capacity. But today, with the hard times that we have, one is able to, to ask, do I really have this meal outside? Or do I save for a supper in the evening? We would wish for a time that people will be able to go out again and have times to go together. And for we also will be able to have more employees in such a place that it is going to assist others, not only we, the directors, but also others out there who would wish to have something down on their tables. So I believe it is well and it is going to be well. Okay. Yes. So uh, about the licenses probably? The licenses yeah. are normally issued by the county government. And for us, I based here, I'm based in Laikipia County. Mm -hmm. The licenses are normally paid by the 31st of every year. Mm -hmm. So it depends with what you normally do. Mm -hmm. For us, we don't have looms, but we do have, it's a bar and a restaurant. They are the charges that you are, you are subcharged according to the space and how the place is. And licenses are, new, are normally renewed yearly. Failure to that, you fall into penalties. And that's where the rent rate comes, the, the garbage correction, and uh, some other miscellaneous that are there, the public health fee, is entitled in the license, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, on issue uh, creating em em employment, yeah, uh, I've seen some some stuff inside there. Yeah. So uh, do you? How do you hire your workers? For the workers, mm -hmm. we people come looking for jobs, mm -hmm. and many are out there seeking for jobs. But there's one thing we normally, for most, look at. You may have gone to the hospitality training, mm -hmm. but you don't, your heart is never there. And you may have done it and your heart is there. Mm -hmm. So the interview for us, we always request, you should be a team prayer in this place. It doesn't mean if you're in the kitchen, you cannot walk out of the kitchen, 
and be of service to the customers. If you are the counter, it doesn't mean you are stationed in the counter only. You are supposed to come out of the counter and get to our guests and serve them. The kitchen is also a place. It's, a, it's enjoyable. Doing the kukali, it feels good. And uh, I always request them, let them be in prayers in all fields. Though at times we don't really have challenges because what you expect, somebody comes with the papers and say, I've been to Tari College, I've been to this college. But when you send them out to the kitchen, they are not able to perform. So preferably the first thing, if you say you've done it, the interview is first to the kitchen. If you're in service and say you have been a waitress, you will serve. And within a couple of days, we are able to say, is this person qualified? And we are able to take you over. Yeah. So, and uh, the prices uh, of, of River River Bank Bar and Restaurant. Yeah. How 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 can you see, how can you say uh, their prices are according to comparing na other restaurants uh, around this area? Okay. Mm -hmm. For the pricing, mm -hmm. everyone has their own pricing because where I get my goods mm -hmm. may not be where you get your goods. Mm -hmm. For us, our signature is Kenyaji meals. Especially, we do Kenyaji kuku. For the fish, we do tilapia. And for other meals, it's by order. We like, if it is matoke you want done, you be done matoke. If you want to do githeri, you'll have githeri at River Bank. So for our meals, they are based on what the customer wants done for them. We don't have pre prepared meals you have to make an order for your meal to be okay. to be given yeah okay mm. so uh, uh, what factors did you consider before choosing this place before choosing this location as the best place for for the business the things that i had in mind was something near the tarmac road something it's very near Town. It's a walking distance from town to this place is about three to five minutes walk. Again, the setup, I was looking at the offices that surround me. We do have the high court behind me. We do have the infrastructure just behind me. And on this other uh, left side, we have the infrastructure offices. And uh, when I thought of it, I thought it could be a good idea for these people, not all of them, lashing to town mm -hmm. and they only have one hour lunch break. Mm -hmm. It would be easier maybe if they are able, they can step in. Since the location surrounds me, we also have the police adjacent to us. And uh, when I did that, it was a brilliant idea because they all frocked here. And as I said earlier on, until times have been so hard, it's not as it used to be. But we are praying times are going to change and we shall have them all coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, who are your main customers? The people around you or everybody? Okay, it's mm -hmm. an open setup for everybody. Mm -hmm. There are those people traveling to Meru, maybe on the highway to other desti destinations they're able to stop by. Mm -hmm. uh, people from town, they're also able to come because for those who want privacy, mm -hmm. we have this wonderful cubicles outside here. Oh, okay. They would come and discuss over as they have their ranch mm -hmm. and go back to work. Mm -hmm. If they want to have a bask, they can take their shares out mm -hmm. and bask outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, got with the purchasing, oh, yeah. Yeah. so 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 in terms of uh, purchasing uh, the things that you use to cook for, for people inside here, mm -hmm. so where do you source them and how do you source them in wholesale? Um, how do you source them? The purchasing of uh, the commodities, the food commodities that's what you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We normally source locally apart from fish, mm -hmm. fish is normally transported from Nairobi and you receive it by the pieces that you need. Yeah, you book an order and they normally transport 
through the cups. So you have yeah. a specific place where you order fish? Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, uh, concerning these cubicles, so yeah. what was in mind probably while constructing these cubicles? Mm -hmm. Because you had, uh, you must have had a uh, thought before constructing these cubicles. The real idea was, you know, in most uh, restaurants, we have back-to-back -back setup. So whatever you're discussing here, the other party behind you will be able to hear you. Ah, so, you are on a jib wheel. The idea behind is the cubicles. Yeah, it's, uh, as I was saying, mm -hmm. having the cubicles and you have a meeting, mm -hmm. our cubicles can hold a maximum of 10 persons mm -hmm. and uh, again not only the 10 maybe you just want to have some private talk this is the ideal place to be because in the main restaurant it's like when talking somebody next to you may overhear whatever you want to to share with your partner so the ideal thing was some place of privacy some private place where you can talk have a meeting if you want to do, we have the Wi-Fi. You can come work from here. When you don't want to work from the office, you get the password and do your stuff. Okay, so mm. somebody is outside there and mm. probably wondering how he, uh, he or she can access a riverbank. You have, I, I believe you have your official pages via Instagram and uh, Facebook here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how can they find you? As in, how do they get you via Instagram or via Facebook? A bank buying restaurant, uh -huh. you'll be able to access them. Assess them through the Instagram uh -huh. or the Facebook. Okay. And uh, somebody, somebody is in Nanyuki town. How yeah. how can he or she access this place from town? We are on the highway to Meru, uh -huh. just before the police station. Uh -huh. On the left from town, on the right from Meru Highway. Okay. Just opposite. Chateau Galage. Mm -hmm. We are we are straight opposite Chateau Galage. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so you can probably tell us some of the challenges you've been undergoing through uh, uh, managing this uh, bar and restaurant. Some of the challenges you've been facing. Well, well, with the challenges, mm -hmm. everywhere where we are, we don't lack challenges. Mm -hmm. And one, the major one being uh, financially, things have not been very well. Uh, pricing of things going up, shooting up anytime, and uh, we are not have we are not able to have consistent. Though for us the meals, we try to maintain them, but again. Uh, we don't know how it's going to be, but with the fuel going up, you find the gas at times, it's mm -hmm. high up. The tokens that are normally bought don't go, 500 goes a day or even a thousand. And previously, you could uh, uh, top up with a thousand and it could give you service of about three days. When we are busy, you find it's a bit challenging with the pricing that we choose to be. Not only that, we also have for the side of the bar, we also have the prices, they are no longer constant. And uh, being that a place at a time when you could get a bottle of beer at 180, today the prices have shot up. We've gone to 200 and something. So I want to say, there has been no consistent of the pricing. Secondly, about uh, the employees mm -hmm. have also been a challenge mm -hmm. because at times you employ expecting the very best from them, but it turns up the people that you entrust the job to are not what you thought they are. Mm -hmm. uh, recently we've had issues of uh, about two employees trying to go away with the daily, the total sales of the day. Those are some of the challenges you get in the market, not doing somebody so well and you've entrusted them to your job. So I would say those are the few things I think 
non consistent of the places and also the employees. Yeah. So uh, we were joined by uh, another director and uh, we'd like her to introduce herself. Yeah, please tell us your name. Uh, I am Teris Gatoni Njoki, daughter to Esther. Yeah, and I'm glad to have you guys here. So what role do you play inside River Bank by restaurants? I am more of the managerial person. Uh -huh. So at the moment, we don't have an active manager. So I play as the manager and the accounts office of the place. Okay. So yes. before you met us, uh, we were on the challenges part. And probably you could tell us uh, some of the challenges you've been undergoing throughout this period. Okay. Uh -huh. I feel like since COVID, uh, picking up has been a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Business has still been low because majority of the guests got to enjoy being at home mm -hmm. than coming here. So we lost quite a number of our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that currently, the reason I didn't start the interview with you guys is because at times you employ people thinking they're good people, but Unapata nemuizi. Okay. Yes. As in, unaze explain pata. Okay, so, uh -huh. without giving so much details, ama too much, because the investigation is still ongoing, uh -huh. uh, you find that una employ mtu, ama kupia everything that you require, ama you need as you employ someone, uh -huh. but ana decide kukuosha. So, for example, Jana, we had a case where a customer told all our, sorry, our employee told all our customers yesterday that pebiletu haifani na card swiping. We can't be able to swipe. So, mtume kwa hii number. So, kumbia na pena number yake, personal. Kwa hivyo, customer mekuja, ame enjoy services zetu, anataka kumake payments. Hata disagree na nini, si uyu ni mtuwa river bank, sendeo. So, it happened that Gioni, uh -huh. she excused herself, akanieleza menda kununua panadola na rudi. Yo haiku wakoso valam. Kumbe ya lienda na kaenda hivu na sales zetu zote za siku. So that's quite a challenge kusabu sisi tunajaribu ku employ the youth ili ku kukab issue ya joblessness. But then again, these same same people wana kwa wani wezi. So I guess another challenge also is we tend to find that we are trying to make profits but don't get me wrong but kuna vitu ka kiare tourism farms there's a lot of in the tourism okay in the restaurant business ama area the taxation here is a little bit on the high end si kama mtu wako na kiosk ni probably ni tax to you as a goods amenunua here you will find that kwa point yako ya penyunge pata more income ama more profit gain unapata imenda sasa kwa hizo vitu za taxes so in terms of profits would you say the buy and restaurant business is a profitable business yeah it's profitable because the very majority of those who come for their meals will end up going to the other sector, the bus side. And uh, in most times, it almost tallies, the margins almost tally. They, they will differ maybe with very little, but in most cases they do tally. Because that person who is waiting to eat will ask for a drink and maybe after the drink, they are able to extend and take some more drinks. Okay. So for me, I feel they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you will really advise somebody who wants to start such a business. It's it's good to venture in in terms of profits. In terms of profits, mm -hmm. uh, as I had said earlier, on, I remember mm -hmm. talking about mm -hmm. the economic times that we are in. Mm -hmm. Prices are not are never constant the way they used to be. You'll get a pack of Vunga, used to go at 180, today it's going for 250. And you don't want to sell 
what you've never given before. Mm -hmm. You want quality. Mm -hmm. So for us, mm -hmm. uh, the margins, that's why I said, mm -hmm. they may not be actual, mm -hmm. very high, mm -hmm. but s somehow they are consistent. Yeah. Uh, the hiking of uh, foods, the, mm. the foodstuffs, mm. uh, has it affected your prices in the restaurant? Yeah, it has. Mm -hmm. Because uh, beforehand, mm -hmm. what we could sell mm -hmm. for a, a, a meal mm -hmm. has added maybe with the 50 shillings on top. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we are approaching the festive season, yeah? yeah? So are you planning to maybe hike up the food prices? No, we uh -huh. shouldn't. Uh -huh. Because we want the volumes of persons coming and according to the pockets, mm -hmm. we want them to enjoy our meals. Okay. We don't want to send them away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's our prayer that uh, the same placing we are having mm -hmm. should be consistent. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Thank you. So what do you have for somebody somewhere? Uh, Anataka Kuja River Bank eh, who experienced these amazing, amazing foods and drinks upper. So what do you have for him or her? Okay. Karibu Ninyote. We do African meals, African cuisines. Karibuni. Uh, our trademark is Kuku Kenyeji. We really do amazing Kuku Kenyeji trust amazing Kuku Kenyeji. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we don't do other meals. But you and your Yetu. The Tumbukiza. Yes. The Tumbukiza also. The Tumbukiza. Yes. So trust you me. Okay. Ask around Nanyuki, you'll get the remarks for this place, Riverbank. So Karibu ni Kwanza, the festive season is about to begin. We are here to serve you. Yeah. And anyone who feels would want to join the business, it's a good venture. Jaribu. Okay. Yes. Thank you.